Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by the channel. I really do appreciate it. If this is your first time on the channel, my name is Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. Welcome to Fit and Fire. Let's get into this. I'm just doing a quick video, stopping by Academy Sports. Uh, just went in and picked up some of this heavy hammer for uh, waterfowl hunting. I wanted to see how well it did. Uh, got a recommendation for it, so I wanted to check it out. While I was in there, I thought that maybe it would be a good idea to do something that Smash Time TV has been doing on his channel. So if you haven't subscribed to his channel, go over and swing by, check him out and uh, give him some love. He's been going into a lot of the big box stores and looking at ammo prices. And I figured, you know, he does that down in Texas. Why not try to do that up here in Kansas? So I'm at the Academy Sports here in my hometown and we'll check out some prices coming up. Okay, walking through the store like a moron, holding my phone to give you guys some a roll i guess but to get over to the ammo section i'm in here once or twice a week to check things out and we are seeing a little bit of real estate on those shelves not a lot of personal defense stuff a lot of ball especially with uh, pistol calibers and then getting over into 223 556 not a lot of specialty ammo just uh, regular stuff uh, no 762 by 39 at all so there you have it let's start off with 22 long rifle and look at uh, norma TAC-22, that's a 40 grain bullet, coming in at 12 cents a round. Then you got CCI standard velocity 40 grain bullets, coming at 10 cents a round. So a little bit cheaper on those right there. Moving on down to the Winchester Super X, that's at 13 cents a round for a 100 round box. And then the uh, Remington green and yellow box, golden bullet high velocity, that's at 10 cents a round, not too bad there. Then we got the Aguila standard velocity 36 grain bullet at 16 cents a round and the Super Extra 40 grain bullet that's 12 cents a round and then their high velocity is 10 cents a round so not too bad there. Then from there you got the Winchester PowerPoint at 12 cents a round and Federal Auto Match at 8.6 cents per round so that's a pretty good deal with that 325 round box. Moving from there, you got the Winchester Wildcat 500 round box. That's nine cents a round. And then the Federal Champion Best Value 525 brick at 8.5 cents per round. From there, uh, I wanted to check the CCI Mini Mag. There wasn't a label on the uh, rack, so I just wanted to see what was going on with that. And the uh, scanner tells me that it's $9.99 for the box, so that puts it at 10 cents a round. So not too bad for the mini mags. Moving on from there, we're gonna look at the 380 Auto and the Winchester White Box. Those are 95 grain bullets. 100 round box is 48 cents a round. Then the Remington UMC is coming in at 60 cents a round. Then you got some Monarch Brass, 94 grain bullet. That's 44 cents a round for the 50 round box. And the 200 round box is 41 and a half cents per round. So. Um, that's not too bad there. Moving on to nine millimeter. Uh, we've got some Winchester 124 grain NATO, and that's 58 cents per round on the 100 round box. And then 44 cents round on the Federal 124 grains as well. And then you can move down to the 200 round Federal 115 grain. Um, that box is running at 37 and a half cents per round. And moving on over to the Remington UMC, that 100 round box is going to be 39 cents a round. So uh, just a touch high, but kind of what you're expecting. From there, we're looking at the 45 AARP and the 200 round box for the Federal 230 grain bullets. That's 57 and a half cents per round. Um, not too bad, uh, kind of what you're expecting. The Winchester, White box, 230 grain, 50 round box is going to be 54 cents a round. Then moving on to the best millimeter. You know that's right, it's 10 millimeter. <laughs> We're looking at 70 cents a round for the Winchester white box. And then the SIG Elite Defense is 125 a round. And then they have the 50 round box, which is going to be a little cheaper at 90 cents a round. So not too bad there, I guess. Moving on to 38 Special, uh, the Winchester 100 round box is going to be 65 cents a round. The 50 round box is going to be 64 cents a round. And then the Remington UMC 
a 50 round box is going to be 70 cents around there. So um, not too bad, I guess. 357 Magnum, the only thing that they had was defense load. This is the Winchester defense. That's a 110 grain bullet um, hollow point, and that's going to be $1.20 per round. Moving on to rifle calibers, 223, 556. We've got Browning, 55 grain FMJ. That's 62 and a half cents per round at 74.99 for a 120 round box. Moving on down to the Remington, 55 grain FMJ UMC. That's going to be 67 and a half cents per round for that 200 round box at 134.99. Moving on from there, we've got the Fed Frontier, excuse me, the Frontier 556 with the Hornady bullets. It's basically M193. That 20 round box coming in at 12.99 puts it at 65 cents a round. And then moving on down from there, we've got the Winchester M855. Um, they have the 200 round box. It's actually on discount from 124.99 down to 119.99, and that's coming in at 60 cents per round. So not too bad there, but still a little expensive. Moving on over to the Winchester M193. Those 20 round boxes have been uh, discounted from 12.99 to 11.99, and that is also at 60 cents per round. So there you have it there. Moving on to some hunting cartridges, starting off with 6.5 Creedmoor and looking at Hornady, Hornady Precision Hunter. This is their ELDX at 143 grain bullet. That's 235 per round. And then the Federal Fusion 140 grain bonded soft point. That's going to be $2 per round. So not too shabby. The Remington 129 grain core lock is going to be coming in at 225. I'm actually surprised that that's a little bit more expensive than what I would expect. Then you got the Hornady American Whitetail. It's a 129 grain bullet, and uh, that is going to be coming in at 150. It's a pretty good deal there. And then Winchester Deer Season XP 125 grain. That's 175 per round. Uh, that's pretty good. I actually took a deer with that deer season XP. So pretty good stuff there. Okay, moving on over to 762 by 51. This is going to be the Winchester M80 FMJ. It's a 149 grain bullet at $1.25 per round. So not too shabby. And then moving on over to 308, we're looking at Hornady Black, uh, that is a 168 grain AMAX bullet. That's $1.75 per round. And the, Fier the Federal Sierra Match King is going to be at the same price as well. So not too bad there. Remington UMC, 150 grain FMJ is going to be $1.50 per round. And then they had some Hornady Match Boat Tail Hollow Point. It's a 160 grain bullet at $2.15 per round. Moving on over to Boomer Ot 6, <laughs> or 30 Ot 6, we have Federal Fusion, it's 165 grain bonded soft point at $1.75 per round. They had some Hornady SSTs at $2.15. And then moving on over to the Remington Core Lock, 150 grain bullet, it's $2.25 per round. Then Hornady American Whitetail, 150 grain interlock at $1.50, and Winchester, Deer Season XP at $1.75. And then rounding out the bunch is going to be the Norma Whitetail at $1.40 per round. So pretty good dis discount there. All right, so there you have it. That's what I'm seeing in my neck of the woods at Academy Sports or a big box store. I have the ability to also jump into Shields in Kansas City or even down in Wichita as well. But I can tell you that the Shields in Wichita pretty depleted on 556223 the last time I was in there just over the Christmas break. So with that being said, is this something that you guys like to see? Is this what you're seeing in your area? In addition to that, is this something you would want me to continue to do each and every single month? I'd be happy to do that. Maybe take a trip over to Kansas City or Wichita and see what's going on down there as well. In addition to that, I would highly recommend supporting your mom and pop shop, your local shops, if you're at all able to. For me, I like to buy my bulk stuff from either like Academy Sports or maybe online and then my specialty ammo. So like maybe the uh, Frontier 
75 grain 556 boat tail hollow points i usually pick those up from my local shops and i'd encourage you guys to do that as well but with that being said we're going to go ahead and get out of here thank you so much for all you guys do to support the channel really do appreciate it as always here comes a high five freedom through strength catch you guys later bye y'all